Hello friends, today we are going to study about polynomials. Everything about polynomials, it is very helpful for class 9th also and class 10th also. So let us move towards polynomials. Polynomials. Poly means many and nomial means terms. Many terms called polynomials. This word does not clarify properly what is polynomial, but still we need to study that. Why? What is polynomial? The meaning is many terms. If I say 3x square, one term, this is also a polynomial. 4x plus 5, two terms polynomial. 3x square plus 4x plus 7, three terms. This is also a polynomial. So I told you that this does not clarify what is polynomial, but we know many terms means polynomial. Now for studying polynomials, we need to focus on these two terms first. Constant and a variable. A polynomial consists of constant and a variable. If I say 3x, this is constant. The fixed value is called constant. Here 3 is fixed value. We don't know what is the value of x. So this is variable. Polynomial a one term of polynomial consists of one variable and one constant. So whenever one constant and polynomial is there in term, that is called polynomial. If I write down three only thing, this is also a polynomial. Why that I am going to explain you when I will explain you what is polynomial in detail. But first of all, you need what is constant and you need to study what is constant and variable. This is called constant. This is fixed value and variable means the unknown value which we need to find out that is called uh, variable. So this is a term of polynomial. Now what is coefficient? Means the numerical value consists with the, if I say what is coefficient of x, here you, the coefficient of x is 3. In this polynomial, the coefficient of x, so the numerical value or the constant value with x or the variable is called coefficient. If I say coefficient of x here, look here, in all these three, this is coefficient of x3, here coefficient of x is 4, here coefficient of x is 4. If I say find out the coefficient of x square, look here, here is x square, so coefficient of x square will be 3 here, here the coefficient of x square is 3. If I write down 3x three, uh, three cubed minus 2x square, here coefficient of x square will be minus 2. You have to keep the sign also with that constant. So here the coefficient of x square is minus. This is all about coefficient. Now let me explain you how we can tell that the given expression, algebraic expression is a polynomial or not. So let me give one example to you. Look, if I say 3x cube plus 4x uh, square plus 3 by x plus 2. So here, this is not a polynomial. Why? How we come to know that the given expression is polynomial? You know about whole numbers. What is whole numbers? Whole numbers. Whole numbers starts with 0, 1, 2, up to infinity. This all are whole numbers. So the power of the variables should be in whole number. When the power of variable is in whole number, then and only then we can say the given algebraic expression is a polynomial. Here you can say x cube, x square, but here it is in denominator. So power is 1. Now we have to take it in the numerator. So this will become 3x cube plus 4x square plus 3x raised to minus 1 plus 2. Now here the power is negative. So the power is not uh, coming in whole number. So we can say this is not a polynomial. So I told you polynomials, variable power should be in whole numbers only. Then and only then we can say this is a polynomial. Then how here x is not there. Then also this, is, this term is coming in polynomial. Yes. How? Let me write down here x raised to 0 is there. We are not showing it but it consists x raised to 0. We know anything raised to 0 is 1. So this will become 1, 1 into 2. So whenever they are telling you, find, find out whether 3 is a polynomial, yes, 3 is also a polynomial. Special name is given to this polynomial that is called constant polynomial. It is called constant polynomial. 
Here, actually, it is polynomial because it is 3 into x raised to 0. So, I told you in the beginning only, I asked you that 3, whenever any uh, only the constant is coming, that is also a polynomial. So, now you should know that any uh, means variable should consist power in whole numbers only then and only then we can say that the given algebraic expression is a polynomial. Let me give you some example and then we can check. Look, if I say 4x square plus 3x plus 5. So here you can say x raised to square so it is a whole number x raised to 1 whole number and x raised to 0 you can say. So a power is every power of all the variables is in whole number. So we can say this is a polynomial. If I say uh, 3x square plus 3 root x plus 7. So here you can see root x is there. So if I want to remove root, you should know the power when we remove root, it, it will become x raised to 1 by 2 plus 7. So again here power is not in not a whole number so this is not a polynomial this is a polynomial but this is not a polynomial so you have to check so whenever any variable is a denominator then also um, that polynomial uh, that algebraic expression is not a polynomial whenever root is coming on variable because if they are telling you x square plus root then this is a polynomial because root 2 is that we only want, we only have to check the variables power no need of checking this is a constant so we no need of checking power of this we have to only check power of a, a variables so this is about polynomials now you come to know which algebraic expression is called polynomial now different names are given to polynomials on the basis of terms also on the basis of degree also so let us start what is first of all what is degree if i say 3x cube plus 4x plus 5 here you can see the highest power, highest power is for degree, highest power is 2, so you can say degree is equal to 2. If I say 3x raised to 27 plus 4x raised to 30, so what will be the degree? Highest power is 30, so degree will be 30. Highest power is called the degree. Now on the basis of term also different names are given to you, dx, only one term, so it is called monomial. 3x plus 5, two terms are there. Then that is called binomial. And if three terms are there, 3x square plus 4x plus 5, then this polynomial is called trinomial. Actually, this all are also polynomial. But special names are given. This all are also polynomial, but special names are given to them. So please take care in mind if I say which term is polynomial. All these algebraic expressions are polynomial. But we have special names are given to them on the basis of terms. And on the basis of degree also special names are given to you. If I say 3x plus 5. Here the highest degree. Oh sorry. Only degree. Highest power is called degree. So here the degree of this polynomial is 1. Whenever the degree is 1. Degree 1. At that time, that polynomial is called linear polynomial. If the degree 3x square plus 5, okay, the same, I have used the same mm, terms, but now I have increased the power. So here degree is 2. So this is called quadratic. This is one of the most important part you can say, quadratic degree, sorry, quadratic polynomial. Because we are going to study about quadratics and detail in class 10 or so. And this is one of the most important things you have to keep in mind. What is quadratic? And at last, if the degree 3x cube plus 5. You can increase the term here. You can write down 2x also. No need of uh, only 2 terms are needed. But if it's 5 terms, okay, then you have to see the highest degree. Here the highest degree is 3. So you can say this polynomial as cubic polynomial. If highest degree is 4, 3x raised to 4 plus 5, it is. Then that is called biquadratic polynomial. Biquadratic polynomial. 
So this special names are given to them on the basis of degree. So you have to keep that in mind. Le highest degree one, then linear polynomial two, quadratic three, cubic four, degree highest degree is four, bi quadratic polynomial. So these are the things you have to keep in mind. These are the basic things. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos to you. Thank you.